What's up, y'all? I'm coming to you from gorgeous Waheke Island. I'm giving you, you know, look at that. That's my view every morning. I also need to cut my hair. Pay me no mind. Um, so today I was answering a question on Instagram under my accountability versus disposability post. And it brought to mind another subject that I want to talk about. That may be a little longer. I don't know. We'll see how long we go, but I want to get into this. And what I want to get into is the difference between learning with someone and learning on someone. Uh, and this person in this post brought up what I think is a good point, And I actually think it's true, which is, you know, there's so much tension right now as these oppressive systems that those of us who have had to live in have always been aware of, um, but is rising to um, visibility for the people who haven't had to live in them. They are so blatant right now, so uncovered that even if you've been, you know, the fish in the water, the tide is you know, the sea level is dropping, which is actually the opposite of what's really happening. The sea level is rising. Um, and you're starting to have to notice that you're in water, right? That's what's happening, I think, to humans right now. And so our areas, our positions of privilege and power are being exposed because they're being manipulated um, by the most sort of malfeasant characters um, of the day. And so one of the things that this person on Instagram said is, though, sometimes you... Like sometimes, you know, like humor is a way to discharge the discomfort of learning something new. And like it, we've got to lighten up the subject so that we can get to common ground. And here's the premise I kind of agree with. I, I agree with the idea that um, we have to have space where we can talk about our shit ideas. Absolutely. Like we have, again, work I've talked about in the book. All of us have crappy ideas, horrible thoughts that roam around in our brain unchecked um, because we have been steeped in a system um, of crappy ideas. We've been steeped in systems of oppression. We were raised in an immersion school of oppressions, of uh, white supremacy and racism and ableism and ageism and fat phobia and homophobia and transphobia and trans antagonism and uh, on and on and on, right? And so, of course, we all have that. All of us have it. That's the thing. First and foremost, I want us all to like just get into, get into it. You got it, boo. There was no way not to. It's not possible to to grow up in an immersion school of oppression and somehow miraculously like a Teflon pan somehow not have any of it stick to you. It's not possible. Right. So, of course, you got that. Yes. And. We're all in an uncomfortable position, many of us, and I'm going to say all because all of us exist at some access of privilege. There's all of us, all of us at, live at some tiny access of privilege that you should probably look for. You should be excavating that in yourself because when you can actually get to that um, aspect of privilege, then you can actually start to either wield it responsibly or actively work to um, erase its positional power in the world. Like you can become an active participant in disrupting that system that privileges you. Uh, so here's the deal, right? So we are now at this place where we're at this thinking, doing, being process. You all may have heard me talk about that before, right? That the first step to transformation is that we actually have to become consciously aware of the thoughts running around inside our heads. And that's where we are, right? A lot of people are starting to actually have to interrogate their thoughts, right? And are being demanded to by lots of people. Like, stop lying and acting like you're not awkward right now. Um, around this disabled person because of your ableism. Stop acting like you're not awkward and weird and making a conversation around this person of color because you um, are still holding on to racism. Like, so that is happening in real time for us. And yes, we need spaces where we can talk through those shitty ideas. We can talk through those ideas that we've all been indoctrinated into that cause harm um, as we work to dismantle them. However, that cannot come at the expense of the people who are harmed by our shitty ideas. That's called learning on someone. Learning on someone is where I learn all my lessons and I harm you in the process, but that doesn't matter because I'm growing. 
Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That's bullshit. That's, that's the epitome of privilege. It's the epitome of privilege and an erasure of positionality and power in one's conversation. You don't get to learn on people. And so, yes, find you a community where you can practice, where you can talk about these crappy ideas you used to have. There is nothing worse. I'm going to give you an anecdote real quick. One time I was working at an organization that shall go unnamed because they were um, (laughs) well-meaning. Um, and, and, you know, I would hope they know better now. Um, but they had a, you know, a racial inequity training, racial justice. I'm not going to call it a racial justice training. It was a diversity and inclusion training is the right word, right? Because it wasn't talking about how you topple no systems or no shit like that, which has to exist in a justice framework. They just wanted you to know that things were bad for people of color. Um, and you know, they wanted the fish to know they were in water. And so I was the only black person in the training. Maybe I was one of three people of color in the entire organization. Maybe it was a real white organization. And so I sat through this racial justice, this um, diversity and inclusion training, and it was so painful for me. Uh, And it was painful um, for a couple of reasons. The primary reason that it was painful is because I just got to sit in a room and listen to white people tell me how they ain't never considered not once in their lives what life might be like for me. And so what an intense erasure of my existence, the existence of my community, and the hit while, right, be clear, while sitting in the benefits of the labor of my ancestors. Like sitting, sitting in a nation built on the labor, death, torture, degradation of my ancestors and having never not once thought about us, um, is really, really painful. Uh, and those people needed to come to that awareness. They needed to come to the awareness that there was an entire world that they absolutely were not ever thinking about. And they did that learning on me because I didn't need to be in that class. So by the way, nice white organizations, stop making, um, People of color sit through university and inclusion workshops. They're harmful. That's a learning on someone. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't need a a day long workshop about that. Now, again, there are areas of privilege. I absolutely need to be made to sit through. Somebody's doing a day long workshop on ableism. I need to be there. A day long workshop on transphobia and trans antagonism. I need to be there. Somebody's doing one on ageism. I need to be there. Um, There are all kinds of accesses of privilege that I have that I absolutely need to explore. But I do not need to listen to a room full of white people tell me about all the disparities and injustices that happen as a result of my blackness. Because guess what? I already know. I live it. So this is what I'm saying to you. I want you to learn. I want you to find a community that you can learn with. I want you to never forget at whose expense you are learning. So this is one of the reasons why, like, when people post questions about other communities on Facebook or social media, do you think trans people should be allowed to? Do you think gay marriage is okay? And these are people who are like, no, I mean, I'm pro, but I just want to talk it out with other people. You are in the public sphere sharing, giving platform for people to share their most abusive vitriolic, biased, bigoted, um, oppressive, body terrorism-based ideas in a public space. As if the people that you are talking about are not there, as if they do not exist, as if they don't have to run up on that, on their timeline. That is harmful. It's harmful. And it's one of those ways in which people do not acknowledge that their history of ignorance harms people in real time. And that they're learning harms people. There is no, this is the thing I say all the time, and then I'm going to wrap this up. There is no place at this point in which you can board the train of justice, equity, um, and not step on someone's foot. Because the train has been filled with people trying to get free. And you're just getting on board. There's no place where you can enter this train and not cause some harm. Your job is to minimize as much as possible that harm. It's to not get on the train and just start stepping on people's feet, right? Like, I'm here now. No, 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 no. Tread gently. Tread mindfully. You know? 
And as best as possible, those of us who've been on the train will let you know when you have stepped on our foot. Um, but we'll also try to make room so that you can move down. And if somebody's extra mad that you stepped on their foot, you're going to have to deal with that because you caused harm. That happens. You got to deal with that. You know, be accountable, apologize and stay on the train. Let's stop learning on each other, y'all. Stop learning on marginalized bodies. Stop learning on the most, um, the most harmed people in our world. Learn your lessons. Find your community where you can practice those things and minimize your harm. Word.